What is up, everybody? How you doing? Happy Tuesday. I believe it's Tuesday. Let's hope I'm right on that one. Anyways, crypto markets. We uh, we had some interesting times today as uh, Fed Chair Jerome Powell decided to come out there and try and just whipsaw the entire market. Whether it be crypto or stocks, they're all pretty closely held together at the moment, which sucks. But uh, yeah, Fed Chair Powell came out earlier today in an interview or talking to Wall Street or something. Um, Wall Street Journal, something like that. Anyways, the, he was saying he's going to up the interest rates until inflation's under control. That got the whole market a little scared. But then as soon as he got off the stage, everybody was like, oh, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. So then market started to rally again. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump into Bitcoin. Start things out. So looking at Bitcoin on the four hour. Four hour looks like we're just sitting right above the supply line. We're still regarding as support, which is great. We even saw this dump all the way down here to back test right on the cross, which is actually quite interesting to me. Um, this happened while I was doing my video, oddly enough my youtube video earlier and it was causing all the trades to look a little funky but we are back above the 20 ema holding it as support it does look like it wants to rally looks like it wants to rally on the four hour we're gonna see what happens but uh might just trade sideways for the next day or two i guess technically there's something out there that historically wednesdays are volatile so we're, we're gonna see if it's volatile tomorrow Anyways, the one hour does look like we are just simply trading sideways after pulling down a little bit. But you can see this bullish divergence already formed. You can see we are holding support. We're slowly trending up. So it's a grind, but it is what it is. Anyways, let's go ahead and check out what the Bitfinex whales see because those Bitfinex whales, they are absolutely wild. We're going to check the longs. The longs are still so high. Oh my land, not pulling back. No pullback anytime soon. Wow. Wow. So, Bitfinex whales still going long on Bitcoin. Still believe we are at points of extreme value because this has not pulled back whatsoever. That is absolutely phenomenal. Let's go ahead and check out the shorts on Bitfinex uh, going down tremendously. So uh, this is solid. I do believe as we watch this, Bitcoin does have a chance at finding a rally, possibly tomorrow, possibly tomorrow. But yeah, you can see we are just sitting currently just chilling here, not doing much. Oh, wait, we should look at Bitcoin dominance as well. So let's go ahead and check out the Bitcoin dominance. So Bitcoin dominance we can see is actually broken out of its consolidation wow wow let's go to the daily here let's let's see the breakout so bitcoin dominance did break its resistance and it's going up to 44.5 percent so there are a lot of bitcoin buyers right now which then you have to think oh what's going on with the altcoins altcoins are just mimicking bitcoin at this moment kind of is what it is but we have to look at these metrics we have to Anyways, now let's go ahead and take a look at Ethereum. Ethereum on the daily. You can see I did make a fresh chart. I really did. You can see we did try to test this level down here at 17,000 or 1742, held pretty darn well. We are currently sitting right on top of support. So, next point in which I would see us going is this level right here right right about there so 2400 is the next level of interest in my eyes then past that you're looking at 33 24 not bad not bad then of course above that you're looking at this level right here 41 8 so ethereum was completely oversold on the daily completely oversold we did manage to break above our resistance level sitting here at 2049 we are currently 2069 not bad not bad the four hour does look like it's trying to mimic bitcoin we are regarding a supply line pretty darn well however however just understand this does look a little little sad here could say it's an ascending ascending triangle 
you know, could say that. Could do a nice little little flat line here. So we could say see something kind of like this, which normally it breaks to the upside. Uh, but we're gonna we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out in coming days if this is actually gonna go up or if we're gonna continue down and possibly get a slightly lower low at seventeen twenty six before seeing higher prices. So the the crypto market's kind of in limbo right now. Uh, at least some of these altcoins are, and so is Bitcoin. Come to think of it, so is Bitcoin. But that's what we're seeing. As long as we're holding the supply line, we are technically above support. So this would mean if you are looking to take a long on Ethereum, you would put your stop loss down here, right below this wick, because you know wicks, wicks will, wicks will stop you out. But nineteen hundred ninety-seven dollars. And your profit taking level is actually up here, 16% to the upside, $2,400. 16% wouldn't be bad, would not be bad. And we are very overdue for a bounce to the upside. Very overdue. <clears throat> now, let's go over here to uh, coin market cap. Let's check out the top coins. Oh, what a shame. You got Tether and USDC sitting at three and four. That is horrendous. Anyways, let's go ahead and look at BNB token. Because BNB is sitting there at number five. Looking the exact same. <coughs> Trying to hold support. But it looks it looks almost the same as Ethereum. However, we do know Binance token, it's one of those weird tokens where people for some reason love to just not hold it or not talk about it. It's kind of weird to me. But Anyways, you can see we do have the exact same thing we've seen on Ethereum. So, since we're sitting in no man's land, uh, whew, good luck. Good luck. This thing could go up or down, and considering volume is falling, we're going to see. If Bitcoin rallies, this is going up big time. If Bitcoin falls, it's coming straight back down here. Straight back down to 225. Like, could be rough. So, this is a wait and see for me. You do have a supply line you are regarding, so if you are planning on putting a short in, you would wait until that supply line is broken. Actually, I would anchor this a little different. Yeah, I'd anchor it right here. So, if you happen to break that supply line right there, that is when you would be looking toward bearish options. Anyways, I personally would be leaning toward a long and have a stop loss just below that supply line, and you could be looking at 18% upside potential. 18% upside potential. So if nothing goes wrong with Bitcoin, keeps trading sideways, we could see BNB take that 18% to the upside back up to $361. Keep that in mind. It looks pretty decent. Let's go ahead and check out the one hour just for a little bit of confirmation. One hour, it's trading sideways. Relative strength index sitting right in the middle. So we will have to wait and see. 15 minute curving down might back test the supply line pretty soon so that would be the best spot to take your long you could even see a wick to the downside could be terrible could be terrible uh xrp sitting at number six go figure xrp the little engine that is trying uh all right so xrp on the daily showing positive momentum looking so much like ethereum oh but we did find support sitting on this 35 cent range. We are trying our darndest to get back up here to 50 cents. Chewy, hey pal, how's that little one treating you? Um, little one's doing good. She's doing good. You know, we're learning more and more day by day, but she is doing good. Actually, Chewy, do you have a kid also? Or am I mistaking you for somebody else? good to see you chewy much love man much love anyways we do see crypto markets are starting to pull back a bit with bitcoin uh-oh uh-oh we're seeing a little bit of red a little bit of red 18 months yeah that's awesome man how's your little one treating you glad to hear all as well yeah, thank you i do appreciate that but yeah she is doing very good all right, so Bitcoin's pulling back a bit. This is actually why I jumped straight over to Gala because Gala, I'm in a trade on, and we're seeing if it's going to hold support or not. I think it will if Bitcoin can stop dumping on us. GMT, I'm not worried about. Really not, not worried about. 
She likes to wake up at 5 a.m. and whine. I Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. We had a 5 a.m. wake up last night. Uh, luckily, she slept all the way until 5 a.m. She's only a month old as of today. One month. So uh, I, I felt pretty lucky. She went to sleep at about 11.30 last night. Woke up at 5 a.m. Not a bad night. Who would have thought I'd be excited over a six-hour sleep? Who would have thought? Actually excited. That's a good stretch for a new board. Yeah, it was great. I loved it. All right, it does look like Bitcoin is pulling back a bit. Going to test that supply line, I guess. Oh, man. So wait, uh, Chewy, did you have do you have a little boy or a little girl? What the hell's Bitcoin's resistance point? James, of course, it, as soon as I put a long in moments ago, uh-oh, uh-oh, dang, James. You have a little girl also? Nice. Yeah, I have a little girl as well. That was Bitcoin's resistance point these days. I put more money in my account and haven't pulled the trigger. Um, so, right now, the resistance is actually overhead. Resistance is sitting up here at 33000 but... It does look like we are finding some resistance at this very moment, which I'm about ready to sh close my lungs because the downside potential is great. Downside potential is great. We're going to see if this support level does hold. Um, we're going to see. Oh, man. Chewy. I was so mad when everything started dumping like crazy. Loopring got toasted. Just toasted. Oh, by the way, I pointed this out, put it in Discord. Um, ApeCoin looking like it's getting ready to break out. 50% upside potential. <clears throat> so, ApeCoin. ApeCoin's looking pretty gosh darn solid. Yeah, he lost like 600 bucks on that. Bad boy. Oh, man. Whoo. It's rough, man. But noted, this is why we trade futures, so we can make that money back. We can make that money back. It was all money that I had mined, though. Oh, that's not bad. At least you're just rolling it into hopeful profits, but... So yeah, ApeCoin right now, it is consolidating, and it does look like, even if you fall down, you have support sitting here at 838. So if we get a fall down, find support off this level, you would expect the next move, you are moving up, and it's going to be a good up. So ApeCoin looking pretty darn solid for these 50% gains, and it could happen fast. Yeah, it just took a bad gamble. I don't think it was a bad gamble. I think it was just simply... The whole market started pulling back and we didn't see it coming we just we didn't see it but now I think Bitcoin bottomed out and it's trying to make sure that it bottomed out before traders are are happy with pushing the price up but I do I do believe that 26,000 was the bottom Sorry, I have my clients texting me right now and kind of got to respond to them, you know. Not financial advice, though. You're right. Never financial advice. Actually, speaking of which, let's go ahead and look at Loopring.
I haven't looked at Loop Ring's chart in a hot minute. Interesting. It, it looks the exact same as everything else. Loop, loop Ring so oversold. Oof. The daily, though. Daily showing bullish divergence. Let's go. Yeah, you still doing personal training, right? Yes, I'm still doing personal training. Still doing it. I, I don't think I'm going to stop personal training until I build the gym that I want. That is that is a fact. I, I don't think I'm going to stop until then. And then once I do build that gym, then I'm going to be training trainers. That's what I'm going to do. All right, loop ring setting up for higher prices. If we maintain support. Very cool goal. Thank you, man. Oh, don't worry. I'm going to show the world what I want to build when I get there. Wow, there's loop ring actually looking sauced up and ready to go 19% upside more than likely you're coming up here to 64 cents not too shabby if you take the entire flagpole we'll just take it from here even better 32% possibilities possibilities here so yeah if you were if you were thinking of taking a long you are currently on the 4-hour, bouncing off the 20 EMA. Your stop loss would actually be down here at 46.56 at the bottoms of these candles. 46.56 is your stop loss. And then your profit taking level is all the way up here at 64 cents. If you are looking to take a long. And noted, if you get stopped out to the downside, you'd look for the back test as resistance on this structure. Then you just put a short in all the way down here to 37.26 cents. If that's not a trade setup, I don't know what is, guys. It's absolutely beautiful out here. Absolutely beautiful. My GMT's doing fine. How's Gala? Gala, don't don't ruin my day. Gala's trying to ruin my day, guys. It's uh so rough. So rough to be a part of Gala. Anyways, let's go ahead and look at our friend Alice. Look at Alice already broke out. What? Yo, Alice. You beautiful SOB. Are you kidding me? This is insane. Rising wedge pattern broke to the upside. Holy shit. Wait a minute. Oh my god. Okay, um, I think I want to be an Alice right now what just to get to your 20 EMA on the daily it's all the way up there you got 19 percent to the upside hold on, Alice are you on any other exchange with more data help me out here Alice what bro this is like the trade setup I posted about uh Jasmine it's like either it's going to zero or it's going up are you kidding? Wow. Yo, Alice. Very quickly, $3.95. If you break that back test that support, six dollars twenty two cents, the gains are there to be taken. You got twenty two to ninety two percent upside potential. Not financial advice. Nope. 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 Not financial advice. Nope. God, we got that full measured move over there too. 
Remember, remember the good old days trading Alice when it was up there. That, oh, that was great. Let's bring those days back, cause holy guacamole! What? That there's no way that's really your next resistance level. All the way up there, eight dollars ninety six cents, and then what up here? Holy crap! If you guys decide to hold Alice, I'm I I fully understand. I would fully understand. Get rid of this. This. And that. That is insane. Actually insane. Is that really the range you can get up into? Okay, so. Alice has a lot of work to do, but... If you happen to break above $9.03, <clears throat> that is the point you can get bullish again. That is the point. Because your next stop, $15.80. And you are pretty much at the lowest level Alice has ever seen. That's where you took a bounce. Yep. And Alice is just trending upward, about to break resistance. Not financial advice. Not at all. Not at all. My gala trade is pooping on me. I'm not even lying. My gala trade is pooping on me. I, I sh should have taken my profits on gala. Gala's doing a terrible thing right now in the four hour. Absolute terrible thing. It, it, it fell below the 20 EMA, back tested it as resistance. Now it's falling out of its structure again. That is bad. That is very bad. Very bad. This is how we end up seeing Gala back down here at 7.6 cents. That is not good. We need to wait 33 minutes for a confirmation cl like close to the downside, but. Are you joking right now, Gala? You're supposed to be the Zenga of crypto. What are we doing out here, Gala? Are you really that influenced by Bitcoin? Is Bitcoin's down 2%? Backtesting support? Oh my gosh. Why? Anyways, looking at the one hour, it does look like Bitcoin do has some room to fall. Looks like it. All right, man. Nice chatting with you. I'll stay longer next time. Gotta go game. Enjoy the games, man. Good luck. Get those dubs. I don't know what you're playing, but get the dubs. There's a new bottle. Apex these days? Oh man, that's a tough dub. That is that is a tough win to get. Very tough. But yeah, good luck. By the way, chat, if you guys want me to look at any crypto, just just tell me. So I'm just out here winging it, trying to look at things and stuff. By the way, I did enter my long down here, so I'm not in danger at all. I just I want it to hit my sell order up here before I take another long and or a short, depending on what the chart tells me. Because if we get a breakout of this consolidation, 62% upside potential. More than likely, you go straight up to 17 cents on a wick high. Then you fall back down. Let's go, Gala. Come on now. God. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at near protocol near protocol near protocol is doing an amazing job consolidating absolutely amazing job consolidating who is texting me Uh, 
sir, I just lost all my savings. No money for rent. Oh, that's terrible. That is absolutely terrible. How did that happen? You invested in the wrong coin? Jeez. By the way, welcome to the stream. You went down with Bingus? Wait, I've heard of Bingus. Is that thing still around? I invested in Bingus when it first came out. And, uh... Yeah, I I think I took... What, like a 5x and I got out? Oh, sadly, no. Damn. Damn. Sorry to hear that. That is rough. But I'm I'm sorry to sound mean about this. But why were you why were you gambling your rent money? That's money you can't afford to lose. Never invest in a bingus. Oh, here we are. <laughs> That's true. You trusted that guy so much. He looks so wise. Oh no. Oh no. Well, Bingus, their their little their little mascot was like a cat, like a naked cat, right? I think that's what it was. Okay, this is a little dangerous territory for Near Protocol cuz Near Protocol looks like it's consolidating before a further dump. What happened to Near? Oh no, it could dump. Holy crap, wait a minute. Exactly, yeah, I, I knew what Bingus was. I, yeah, I remember Bingus. Yeah, that was a weird, weird coin, but... Those speculative tokens, you definitely have to take your profits. Every single time. You lose this level, you drop down how far? Oh my goodness gracious. You just got above this level. You better hold it. Oh my god. Oh no. Alright, so if Near Protocol manages to drop below support levels here at $6.39 very fast, you're going to see it all the way down here. $4.85. This, to me, looks like a consolidation before a further dump on the daily. Uh, that's not good. That's really not good. The four hourly looks like it's trying its hardest to come up, but it's sort of looking like uh, like the, f the 20 EMA is holding it down. Oh no, near protocol, in danger. In danger. Go back to that, that daily so I can... See, oh my god, what? Like, it's the next level after that, this? Yikes. Well, hopefully that doesn't happen, and hopefully you see a bounce to the upside. This could just be a back test holding out support, and you could see an upside potential back up to $9.59, but only time will tell. If you are up for the risk of taking a long, because you do believe this is the bottom, your stop loss would actually be just below this wick right here so your stop loss would be right down here at uh six dollars and 24 cents for near protocol and the possibility of gains from where you're sitting at this very moment in time if this plays out 48 percent to the upside but take it with a grain of salt if bitcoin pulls back slightly this thing is going to drop straight down Straight down to four dollars and eighty-five cents. <laughs> Dang, near protocol sitting on the edge, and this is act in actual edge 
This looks like a consolidation before further downside. Oh, it's so bad. It's so bad. You also have bearish divergence on the four hour. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. You don't want to see bearish divergence at these levels. You really don't. Oh. That is a shame. So, heads up on near protocol. Uh, looks like it's going down. Going down. Damn. Damn, man. Go ahead and take a peek in here, and we are about to close a four-hour candle. Hopefully, Gala can get it together, pull back up to the upside, allow my YouTube video to look amazing. Hopefully, it looked great once, not so great this time. Now, the big difference here, the reason why it does not look like a continuation to the downside on Gala is because you did have this great bounce off of resistance. Whereas, if we look at Near, you can see you did not have a great bounce. You fell below, you came up, consolidated, and this is what a consolidation before further downside looks like. So, notice the difference. Just a bounce up consolidation usually it's a consolidation before higher prices usually a fall down consolidation usually indicative of lower prices so keep that in mind it is a shame to see two completely stark differences but it's what it looks like <laughs> Unless you believe this is the bottom and the back test of the bottom, this is going down further. Unless you believe it. Now let's go ahead and look at Chili's. Chili's, same thing. Looks like near. Looks like you're going to see further downside. Hopefully not. Oh no. I need to go to a different chart? Oh no. Chili's? What are we doing? No. Chili's, we're not getting any baby back ribs tonight. Whoo! You don't hold this level. If you do not hold this level down here, this this is bad for Chili's. Very, very bad for Chili's. Oof. We don't want to see that. We really don't want to see that. I mean, hopefully that level holds because after that, you're coming all the way down here. Yikes. Chilies. Pull it together, bruh. Pull it together, bruh. Right there. Did not. Ooh, that's showing a lot of weakness. Okay, what you could see is a back test down to 10 cents and then further upside back up here to 15 cents this is a possibility just bear with me on that it's a possibility we're gonna we're gonna wait see and find out and then if you can break above that and hold support i mean your next level after that is pretty darn good well, let me say right here yep resistance resistance support 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 so that would be our next level after that so nice little pocket there and then we what what was i doing here was i drunk hey if, if i'm ever doing ta while drunk i'm remember it's for entertainment just, just keep that in mind every time it's for entertainment only anyways wow look at these levels gosh that is a lot of chop you got to work through. A lot of chop you got to work through. I don't know what this peak is. Right there? You didn't have enough strength. That's why you fell. <laughs> Yikes. All right, Chili's. The reason we did that, resistance here. Trading around it. Resistance, resistance. Resistance. Yeah. Not much back testing for chilies. I mean, you have this scuffy little bit, but wait a second. 
what? Right there's the lower candle. It was resist. Are you kidding me? Oh, finding these levels. Daunting. Just daunting. So you can see right here where it was regarded as strong support. Be they kept trying to beat the price down. Didn't work. Finally broke down. Shot right back up. Back tested as support. Kept going. Le yeah. This is the level. next level after that. And then you have just this garbage level up here after that i mean it's pretty much off to the races right there so yeah after that it's pretty much off to the races and then you get to try and go up to all-time high anyways we are down here now that i'm done with all that nonsense sheesh so yes this does look like a consolidation before continuing to the downside however just like everything else we do have that supply line we definitely have the supply line as long as you stay above that supply line you're good you're chilling it's great another thing you gotta actually keep in mind here is this is a rising wedge pattern so these most of the time break to the downside if it does break to the upside you're not just stopping at 15 cents you're probably going all the way up to 19.9 cents because when a bearish pattern breaks bullish, it is very strong. When a bullish pattern breaks bearish, it is very strong too. Very, very huge sell pressure to the downside. Anytime that happens, just like huge sell pressure to the, or buy pressure to the upside. Need to check on my trades real, real quick. Yeah, one of them's doing phenomenal. The other one struggling struggling Oof. I'm in two trades right now for those of you new to the stream or just now showing up number one is GMT right here we're getting close to my first sell order so the first sell order is actually this level of resistance up here at $1.7826 and I've been in this trade since down here because I first got in down here I took my profits it came down here and I was like that's too good of an opportunity to pass up so I took another long out and now we're moving up anyways that's GMT right now it is moving up four hours giving us a little bit of love the one hour giving us a lot of love I mean it's saying we're going up and then if we go to the 15 minute it's gonna basically say the same thing we're trading sideways but curving to the upside we're just bouncing off this 20 EMA now, so watch out. Parabolic move might come tonight. It just might. We don't know for certain. We do not know. Now, one we got to keep an, our eye on is Jasmine. So Jasmine faked everybody out earlier today. Nice little fake out. Back test coming back in here. Now we got to look at the four hour. See if we do have that momentum still building. We do not. It looks like we are going to test the lower part of the channel. So if you were thinking of taking a long on Jasmine, it looks like you will get a chance possibly, most likely down here, sitting at a 12.99 or 1.299. Uh, we're going to put our alert right there because i might want to jump in this bad boy also because uh yeah once you do get a confirmed breakout to the upside a confirmed breakout to the upside out of this bull flag falling wedge i'm whatever you want to call it 26 percent upside potential right there could see you up here back up to 1764 could see it so Keep your eyes on Jasmine. I have my alert set up down here at uh, 1.299 cents. And uh, yeah, we'll see if it ends up filling. Well, you can see the relative strength index is falling right now. So it, it needs to take a breather. You did see this bearish divergence as well. And that's why you end up seeing this huge drop and then another drop right after. But found our footing and started going up. So, this is actually interesting because this was a consolidation. Looked like consolidation before more downside. However, as I posted in Discord, where's it going to go? Zero? 
or it would have to go to zero. It just it was worth it's worth fractions of a penny. It would have to go to zero. So therefore, I believed it was going up. Anyways, now it looks like it's taking a little breather after a nice rally. Taking a nice little breather, flagging out. Maybe I need to redraw this a little up here so it's a better flag. So you can see we did regard it as resistance, pulled back. So we might get that second, that what, fourth touch. So we might get one more touch to the downside before Jasmine starts seeing more upside potential. Just my thoughts. Not financial advice. Just saying what I see in the charts. Don't get mad at me. Don't. Don't act like I'm the one putting your trades in, okay? You can also see on the one hour, it looks like we are trying to fight against the 50 EMA, finding support. I, I'm i more inclined to think we're going to go down after that. It's just, it's just going to keep going all the way down to the bottom of the channel just because that's usually how it works, but we could be finding some support right here off the heart line. So that could be a possibility as well. If it does curve to the upside right now, you're waiting for that breakout back test as support and then it'll take off so yeah that's what we're looking at uh knc has been having a fantastic rally what you're looking at for knc oh what is up mr howie how are you uh knc it is above uh a former resistance level trying to regard it as support i don't know that it'll have enough strength to hold it as support because the four hour is getting into the overbought territory, but you could actually see a wick up as high as $2.53 before we pull back down here and back test properly as a support level. We have 14 minutes left on this four hour candle too. Pretty good, how you doing? I'm doing fantastic, man. Doing fantastic. Put some trading money in the account Friday afternoon and had tripled it since then. Bro, good job. Good job. That's what I love to hear. Yes. Hopefully, some of the trade setups might help you out as well. Just keep the leverage a little low because it does seem like the whales are stop-loss hunting. So be careful out there. It's easy in a market like this, but I like to think I'm learning. Hey, it is easy in a market like this. This is, this is how it's supposed to be. But noted... The whales have been giving us some whipsaws also. They really have. Also, I hope you're in on this GME trade. Or GMT trade. Because uh, GMT painting some green, man. Painting some green! <laughs> I'm about to take profits up here once we do break above this 50 EMA. And then hopefully I can take out another long right after. So I can take more profits up here at $2.05. I think that's where it's going. If we get another break above that and we actually take the full measured move, that's going to be saucy. I'm um, not, but maybe I'll get in. A little dangerous at this moment. A little dangerous. If you did, you have to have low leverage. And you'd be taking a nice little scalp. Nice little scalp. But you do have 24% potential. 24% potential could happen knc did it yesterday <laughs> yeah i'll wait yeah it's just cause, mainly because of this one hour it, it's it's slowing down a little bit so you might see it go a little sideways wait till it gets back to this 20 ema and holds that's where i would say it would be a little more comfortable on taking a long i took my long out down here i'm i'm chilling i'm ch i'm chilling <laughs> oh uh, we were looking at one that might be actionable for a trade. And that was Gala. Might be actionable for a short. Because when this four hour candle closes, it is a confirmed close to the downside. And I need to close out that trade. Shitty. But could open up a short. Oh, is it going to bearishly engulf too? See, this is a kick in the nuts. It really is. It's a, it's a strong kick in the It's like, oh, I became a girl. Like, oh, man. And it has more downside potential on the 15 minute as well? Are you kidding me right now? Jiminy Christmas. Oh, 
I thought this was a fake out to the downside. Then it was going up, broke back in. I was like, great. Bounced off as support. Awesome. Now it's just like, nah, dude. We don't care about your gains. We don't, we don't, we don't give a damn. It's like, but why? They started advertising more and everything. Damn it. I guess they're a little too risk on. Um, also, near protocol. Another one. Great downside potential right now. Great downside potential. Because this honestly looks like a consolidation before more downward pressure. Anyways, if you find support on this level at 632 again, that would be time to take a long, and you're looking at 48% upside potential. Absolutely nutty. Absolutely nutty. So the four hour actually looks a little more generous on this one, which is nice. The daily does not. But you cannot ignore bearish divergence. Can't ignore that. So downside potential, very strong. About to start putting in some negative Momo. High possibility you're dropping lower, all the way back down. High possibility. But I, I've been wrong many a time. Could be wrong now. It could go up. I just don't think it will. Uh, GRT. You know what? Got got to make up your mind. Actually, I think I drew this wrong. But this is the supply line it's been regarding. But I think I drew it wrong. Because this could be flagging. Could just be bull flagging out. Bull flagging out. So with that being said, you could see a drop down to this level and then bounce right back up. And that would be irritating. That would be quite irritating. Because it did take a bounce. Came up, consolidate down, up, consolidate down. It might do the same thing. So GRT, actionable for a long at this moment in time. Because you do see the stochastic RSI is trying to curve to the upside. Don't ignore triple bullet, uh, bearish divergence. Do not ignore it. So keep that stop loss nice and tight. Nice and tight. So your stop loss would be sitting here at 17,341. And uh, if you get stopped out, wait and see if this level holds at 16,446. Or 16,444 repeating, of course. And um, if it doesn't, yeah, you're, you're going to see lower lows. Much lower low. Oh, God, no. No, we don't want to see that. We really don't. Oh, it's so sad. Hold on, what? You went low. God, I need to find a different chart. Yeah. Okay. Get. Hold on, what did I chart out? I just closed out the lo Oh, we did chart this out. Oh, oh, beautiful. All right, we got more info here. Uh, daily, tons of room to go up. Tons of room to go up. We we hit we hit the twenty nine percent upside. We are working on the seventy seven percent upside. Okay, okay. Four hour time frame on Binance doesn't look as bad. Is this trying to say you're putting in like positive momentum? What the heck? What in the world? But yeah, you can see the supply line. If it keeps regarding the supply line as support, noted we are on a different chart now. But if we keep regarding that supply line as support, you would expect, first off, not to break below support levels. Anyways, um, you would expect in the next four-hour candle for us to go up. You would expect it. And the resistance to beat right now is this right here. That right there. If you do manage to go to the upside, you are looking at this beautiful 2333. We're going to see what happens here. We're going to see what happens. It could even take a wick all the way down to this level at 1688 before going to the upside. It could do it. Could do it. So your stop loss would be right below that. Right below it. Watch out for those stop loss hunters. Watch out for them. They are mean. They're mean. They're evil. Terrible people. I bet. I, I bet they eat cereal with water. Yeah. One of those people.
what's going on with Waves? Oh, that's what's going on with Waves. So, Waves looks like it's in a consolidation before lower prices. They put the water in the bowl before the cereal. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's terrible. Ugh. All right, so Waves at this moment in time, I mean, really oddly enough, looks ready for a long. I, I, I don't like to say that. Looks pretty ready for a long to me. Uh, your entry point would be down here at 679.4. That's your entry. Or you just put your stop loss down here at 662.9. <laughs> oh, my God. Bearishly engulfing. You could see another test of this lower trend line. But, I mean, Waves is... It's going to do something gross if it starts going up. It's going to it's gonna be gross and you're going to be mad you missed out on it. So, if you wanted to gamble 50 bucks, I mean... First target, 20%. Second target, 35%. <laughs> Third target, oh my god, 85%. Oh my goodness. That's insanity. Absolute insanity. Throw a 5x on that bad boy, just sit and forget. <laughs> Put that stop loss into oblivion. Probably going to be alright. <laughs> Probably. Oh yeah, Gala. Gala's doing doing its thing. Just just ruining my gains. No big deal. No big deal. Gala, but you butt. Oh, playing with my emotions out here. Gosh, Gala, why you gotta do this to me? You were such a good trade earlier. I'm still up 33%. Now I have to decide, is it going down? In these situations, we look to Bitcoin. We look to Bitcoin. I was reading a Discord the other day, and a guy kept posting his trades, and he was 50x leveraging everything. Oh my gosh. I'd 50x leverage Bitcoin right now. I'd do that. I would I would 50x leverage Bitcoin right now. Sitting on support, I'd 50x this. Hell yeah. Sitting right on top of support. Next move up, if you get a move up, you're going straight up to 32,985. Oh yeah, I would I would I'd gamble that all day. I would gamble that all day. Let's see what the Bitfinex longs say. Bitfinex longs, they pfft. They don't care. They're still going up. They're taking the bet too. Dang. Dang. That's crazy. All right, Phantom, you you sat in me. Now I have to recreate these lines cuz you just traded sideways out of it. <gasps> Thank God I did. Bro, FTM. Are we are we gonna go to the downside? Is that what's about to happen? GMT, are you going to the downside? Yes, you are. Hard. Ooh. All right, we're closing out the longs. Are we? Maybe. Can you believe it? I'm still up 100 percent on GMT. Hey, this is why I said wait on GMT. See that, Howie? See that? It's a good thing you waited. <laughs> no BS. I might want to jump into FTM though. Look at what happened. Look at what happened right there. Told you it would go down to back test this 20 EMA. As long as that holds, you are golden, baby. See there? These whales, they're out they're out to get us, man. They're also really putting me in like some serious fear on Gala. And it's a weird fear. It's like it's like I have a fear of missing out. But now I want to see is, is it going to break this?
I hate it. I hate it when when crypto does this because honestly, it's like a situation like this. Close out the long, and the next thing you know, it just starts blasting to the upside, and you're like, "What? What was that?" But yeah, Howie, I say with these trade setups, we're gonna we're gonna buy new houses, maybe an island. Yeah. Holy shit. I could buy an island and have beer pong tournaments on it. That would be lit. Total waste of money. Totally worth it. You know, I'd be happy with paying your debt off right now? Well, I'll, I'll be sure to post the trade setups that I find. <laughs> Hopefully you don't have a lot of debt right now. Holy crap. I, I ended up seeing the study where uh, millennials are carrying the most debt in American history. I was like, oh. So no one else in the history of America has pulled out this much money in debt. That's crazy. That is that is actually, actually crazy. Like, I... God dang. Uh, I just want to get to the point. I have trading be a nice side profit for you. Um, the problem is trading, it, it could end up turn like, depending on the amount you're trading and if you're successful in your trades, it'll overtake your, your regular money-making job just tenfold. It, it's crazy. Not that in debt, but have more than I like since the whole divorce into COVID. Yeah. It would be fine if that happened, right? It's like, oh, I'd, I'd, I'd be okay with that. You know, just making more money trading. I want to get to the point where I'm, I could be like those guys where it's like, I make two trades a month and I'm good. <laughs> like, I, I want to be like those guys. Make two trades a month, buy a house. <laughs> But noted, they're trading just crazy amounts. Absolute crazy amounts. Jasmine, we're waiting for it to hit my, my target here. GMT, looking like it's trying to find some support now. Uh, anybody who's now entering on a long for GMT, your stop loss needs to be down here at a 153.49. That's where the stop loss needs to be because that's where your 50 EMA is on the one hour. That's the stop loss area. Hopefully you don't get stopped out. I'm still debating. Should I stop out? Should I take my profits on Gala while it's looking like it wants to recover? Uh, this is nerve wracking. I'm still in profit, but I don't like the way it looks. The four hour looks fine. It's the pesky one hour. One hour does not look that good. 15 minute looks okay. Looks okay. Doesn't look terrible. Wait to see which way Bitcoin goes. That's true. All trades are based off Bitcoin right now. And big oh no. No. Bitcoin's doing something terrible. But it's oversold on the 15 minute, so we can't we cannot believe that's gonna keep going for now. Oh, hurts the soul. You don't want to see it. You don't want to believe it. I want to believe in FTM, though. I kid you not. This this starts going up. Oh, my God. FTM could be really nice. SXP doesn't look too, too shabby. XSP <laughs> sitting in no man's land. Provided Bitcoin does not poop the bed, we could be seeing 17% gains out of SXP. And noted, we do have a supply line just like everything else. Yippee! So we know where to put the stop loss. Right down here. 
four five five two stop loss SXP looks like it really would like to go up we're gonna see if the market allows it ooh loop ring we are sitting on support are we going to hold I think we will I, I think we will because we had a bounce upside consolidation consolidation after ups upside move usually means you're going up again loop ring looks actionable for a long baby could be seeing 19% upside could be seeing it your stop loss on this asset just to make sure the wickers won't get you four six one seven real deep stop loss because this thing could wick down and stop you out and irritate you when you wake up and you see it 19 percent up it it would i guarantee that'll irritate you I can guarantee it gmt recovering back up to one percent oh mr howie hopefully you didn't miss out on your entry right there hopefully you didn't hopefully not but looks like we're recovering. Looks like we're recovering. So I believe Bitcoin is doing its recovery thing regarding it as support. Look at that. Don't you love when support levels hold? Don't you love it? I do. I love it. And that means FTM is about to start going up. And FTM looks just so darn attractive at this level. So darn attractive. Gosh, look at that. Look at that tons of room to run on the four hour absolutely massive oh my goodness gracious and your prize target upon a breakout 33 percent to the upside oh boy 48 8 that is that is your price target right first price target right there your second price target 49% to the upside, 54.612. Third price target, 59.9. Wow. Let's go crypto. Let's freaking go. FTG's rallying. I, just, I like to see the rallies. I do. I do. I do. I'm so glad I didn't close out on Gala. I'm glad I didn't close out. Look at that. Rallying with the market. That's what we want to see. What we want to see. GMT up 2%. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Going long on FTMs. Tight stuff. Bro. Smart move. If I wasn't in two different trades right now, I, pff, I'm with you. But no, not a tight stop loss. Your stop loss needs to be down here at uh, 33.6. You need to have it deep. Because where it's sitting, you could wick down and then go. So don't get stopped out on the wick, man. Don't get stopped out on the wick. Yeah, Bitcoin's recovering well. 209. Down 209. Not bad. 4-hour is looking like it wants to start going up not not bad you do have bullish divergence on bitcoin this is a big thing not like five percent stop loss hey man i i'm just saying <laughs> but bitcoin on the four hour does have bullish divergence right here the sellers might be exhausted uh does look like we're just trading sideways i don't want to trade sideways out of this i really don't um super oversold on daily so it would not surprise me if we see a nice bounce to the upside i'm still believing since we had a breakout of this consolidation we do have 16 percent potential that could happen over time so we might see it just trading sideways and then slowly start curving up we might see it but these markets are insane just let that be known they are insane one hour one hour ftm looking good
It's looking good. I love it. FTM also has bullish divergence on the one hour. Right here, bullish divergence. Very nice to see. Yo, Burnsy, 17 months? You joking me right now? Thanks for the resub, man. How the heck are you? Ooh, we technically have bearish divergence also. So, when it starts coiling up like this, you gotta watch out. You gotta watch out. But all that really matters, what's our divergence on the four hour? <sighs> bearish divergence. We're gonna find out where this thing's gonna go. Bitcoin, are you gonna hold us up? Are you gonna hold us up? If Bitcoin doesn't hold us up, we're toast. We're toast. We do see the stochastic RSI is curving up. So I think we're going up. I do. I think we're going up. I think we're doing it. I'm not closing any of my longs. I'm leaving them open. I believe. Good, good. How are you? I'm doing good, man. Doing good. I'm actually um, winding down at the moment, thinking about going inside and eating and watching a movie with Baby B and the baby. FTM moved in green for you already? Good. Hey, FTM, I was telling you, it looks good. Four hour looks a little shaky. The one hour looks really good. So apparently the traders are looking at the one hour time frame right now. Yeah, everything's starting to rally up with Bitcoin. Gotta love it. But yeah, watching FTM, it's looking great. Looking great. Just gotta break through that resistance level and you're good to go. Good to go. But yeah, Howie. Lots of upside potential on FTM. Lots of upside potential. Also, if we go to, out to the daily, you can see this crazy channel FTM's been trading in. Absolutely crazy. So you have to expect over time, you're going to end up back up over here at 87 cents. Over time, 87 cents. That's This is not a drill. That is possible. Oh, Bernsey, I didn't take my selfie yet. That's on me. But I do have a selfie of Baby B and the baby that will work out great. All right. Well, it looks like... <laughs> Hi, Bernsey! I'm on multi-stream right now, so I can't really do the shout-outs, by the way. By the way, if you want to see daily trade setups, Mr. Howie, check out the YouTube channel. Give it a subscribe. Hit the bell. Just breaking the rules like that, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I'm breaking the rules like that. Yep. Perfect. I'm getting all the picks, so... I can, so we got the community. Nice. So long ago. All right, Howie. All right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Sub back when it was a gaming channel. I like it. I like it. Three hour. What are we doing? All right. Let's see near protocol. Because near protocol, crazy upside potential. Crazy upside potential. Is near going to do it? Is it going up? Is it going to is it going to $9.67? I think it could. It actually it's regarding support. It 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 believes. The traders believe. Oh. Seriously, this out of Gala? Oh. It's not fun to look at. It wasn't fun to look at earlier today. <laughs> not fun to look at now. <laughs> uh, so terrible. I mean, noted. I could always just, like, lower this down. 
Oh, hey, we're good. I don't want to do that. Be right back. Uh, Bernsey, I don't know. Probably won't be. I'm probably about to head out right now. Right this moment as we speak. But yeah, I am. Been on for about an hour. Crypto looks like it is bouncing back strongly. Not really that strong, but looks like it's bouncing back. Hopefully my gala trade doesn't get stopped out. I'm hoping for the best. Anyways, I'm going to call it a night. I'm going to call it a night. I'm going to go eat some food, hang out with the baby, hang out with the wife. And, uh, yeah, take it easy. If you guys aren't in the Discord, get in the Discord. Also, make sure you check out the daily YouTube videos on trade setups. Let's make millions. Let's make millions. I'm out of here. Deuces. Much love. Bye. Why don't we be doing some sex ed on YouTube? Oh my god. That would be wild. That would be wild. <laughs> Later, Mr. Howie. Take it easy.